Hello Cancer, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a peek into your partner. This could be your present partner or your future partner. I'm gonna look at what's on their mind, how they see you, how they see the connection, what's blocking the connection and the possible outcome. This message will not resonate with every Cancer out there, so feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. And ask Spirit to please bring forth messages for Cancer. Thanks to everybody that has subscribed, liked, or left me a comment. I read them all and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So let's see what we have for Cancer's person. What's on their mind? Oh my God. Okay. It's too many. What's on this person's mind? Now, energies could be vice versa. Okay, I'm just going to take those because I can never just get one card. I get a bunch. OMG, you guys. Just look at this. Eight of Wands, the Fool, Ace of Cups. This person has new love. It's all they're thinking about. Communicating this new love with you. I mean, this could be you or the other person. Again, energies could be vice versa. How do they see you? How do they see you? Oh my God. Can I just get it together? Hang on, you guys. Okay, so I got four of pentacles. I keep getting four of pentacles. So they probably see you as guarded. Um, they don't know how you feel. Um, a little protective maybe. Why the Four of Pentacles? Why the Four of Pentacles for Cancer? Okay, because you've been hurt before. That's why you're guarded. How do they feel about this connection? Oh my God, I just cannot get it together. How do they feel about this connection? How do they feel about this connection with Cancer? Okay. They're waiting for the right time to make this offer because they know that you have, you're good on your own. Also, they, they probably feel like this is leading towards marriage or they see you as marriage material. Um, but they have to wait for the right time or something. They're waiting for something. I have five of wands under the deck. So maybe they're waiting for conflicts to be resolved. Nine of Swords, yeah, they're dealing with some sort of drama or situation right now that has left them feeling a little tired here. I have Five of Wands, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, and Nine of Wands. So this person has been through it. They're dealing with a lot. And I feel like even though this person's thinking new love, it's like they need to wait for the right time. What's blocking this connection or what's the challenge to this connection? The High Priestess. Okay, so the challenge is that nobody, someone's not speaking or being honest about how they feel. Why the High Priestess? Why the High Priestess? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. I keep getting the same types of cards and I shuffle a lot. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like a lot of you are going through the same stuff. So someone, yeah, someone's not being open about how they feel. Instead, they're focusing on themselves and their work, on their stability, on their money. Someone's not being honest that about how happy this connection makes them and how they see this connection. Um, almost like they feel this that this is a strong connection. I'm gonna clarify all these with another deck. What's the outcome of this connection? Six of Wands, victory, recognition, success. This person's gonna come in hot and he's gonna get the answer that he wants. It's what it looks like. So let's clarify and see, Spirit. Help me clarify these messages for Cancer. Hmm. Let me clarify these messages for Cancer in regards to their partner. What 
I need to know regarding their partner. I need to know spirit. Well, I'm not going to clarify this one here of what's on their mind because these three cards are clear as day. Uh, this is new love, by the way. This is definitely not someone from your past. Tell me about how they see them. Whoa, hold on. Didn't even get to ask my question. Tell me about how they see Cancer. Four of Pentacles and Three of Swords. Why are they here? Spirit, why are these two cards here? In the how they see Cancer position. Three of Cups, Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this person is seeing you as guarded, you know, like you've, like you've had a tough time in love maybe, or you're going through something painful, and it's like they want to, sorry guys, I've been hitting my mic, sorry, that was annoying. Um, I'm new to this mic thing. Okay, so yeah, it's like they, but they see you and it's like all they think about is making you this offer. But here's the, here's the challenge at the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. So this person sees you as their partner, for sure. They're thinking how they can break down these walls, how they can help heal whatever you're going through so that you guys can have a happy reunion or, or going out have a good time almost like they want to put a smile on your face kind of so how do they feel about this connection it looked like they were waiting here to make an offer tell me about the three of wands and the queen of pentacles oh my gosh my cards are just flying out today justice okay why justice Sign of Libra because of the sun. So they feel like this is the right, you are the right person for them. You make them happy, you balance them out, you are everything that they've been looking for. Strength card at the bottom of the deck. You might be just a really strong person. You might have Leo in your chart, but that's just what I think is they're seeing someone, something in you that's special. Almost like even though you've been through a lot, you haven't given up. Um, signs I'm seeing so far are Libra. I have Leo. But that's, you know, don't focus so much on the sign. Focus more on what the cards are saying. And if it resonates with you and your situation. So what's blocking this connection? The High Priestess and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, we got Seven of Swords. Anything else that's blocking this connection with the High Priestess and the Eight of Pentacles? Higher font. So this person, I feel like they're trying to be strategic and, and feel like almost like they have to go about this the traditional way. They have to go about this the right way in order to get you to open up and accept them. So it's it's like they're sneaking around trying to find out like what kind of things interest you, what kind of person you are behind the scenes and all that so that when they approach you, they're, they're coming at you right. Higher find it could be a Taurus that you're dealing with, but honestly, I just see here um, that they they want you to open up to see if you feel the same way. You know, that's that's what I'm seeing. And it's like they need to do it the right way. So, you know, respectfully and all of that jazz. Tell me about the outcome here with the Six of Wands. Tell me about the outcome here for Cancer with the Six of Wands. Okay, so I'm gonna take all these three cards the lovers here, sign of Gemini, eight of pentacles again, and the four of swords. So now I'm try trying to think that this is financial. The challenge is probably financial or work related. 
Um, so the outcome in here is there's going to be a healing type of energy. I feel like you both are going to want to work on this, on making this work with the lovers here. You're both mirroring each other. You both want the same things. I don't see it as a negative thing here. Um, but again, with Four of Swords and the High Priestess, some, some things need to be like aired out almost. Yeah, King of Swords under the deck with Temperance. Sign of Sagittarius. So, you know, divine timing here. Also healing, healing conversations, the um, heart to heart conversations that you need to have when you're starting something new, something that you want to build a strong foundation for. So I'm going to leave it there, Cancer. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Let me, don't, let me know down in the comments what the situation is, if this resonates with you. Subscribe if you like what I do, and I'll see you guys in my next video.